I'm in Grenada. Mississippi. I'm not sure if you can see, there's a little sliver of the moon up there. Uh, really nice driving day, really bright. I forgot my sunglasses at home, so I did stop and get a pair. Uh, the truck is absolutely covered with bugs, which sucks because I just got it washed uh, yesterday. But what do you do? It's got bugs everywhere on it. But it was a good driving day. Other than the sun, the sun was quite bright. Um, got in there this morning and my glass load for today for Grenada was done. And my glass load for Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday, I guess it is, for Grenada is also done. Um, and back over in there, last time I was here, I, I had told you how close the neighborhood was to this place. Back over in there somewhere... Last time I was here, somebody was really popping off some caps. I never heard the cops or anything, but somebody was really shooting some firearms off. <sighs> Anyhow, I, I uploaded several videos um, for the, the last video I posted. And I apologize because I think it's a freaking mess. Um, I, I, sh I showed the video on the video where I, the stop blocks were missing, were not put in, the... the, uh, the the padding between the stop block and the glass wasn't put in. Well, I went and I fixed all that and I just did a real short video of it being fixed. Wouldn't let me upload it. Uh, I had another glass load that I did a video of, different type of glass, wouldn't let me upload it. So I had a whole bunch of stuff that it just wouldn't let me upload. So I was like, well, let me upload like what I got even though it sucks. Um, this week uh, is Grenada, Decatur, Grenada, Decatur. Um, that's all it's on my schedule. To recap what all happened last week, because I probably didn't make a lot of sense about it, is um, I had left Columbus to go to Decatur to get a load to go back to Indianapolis. That's what my schedule said. And they had sent me an email message and said my loads had been changed. They want me to grab a load to Knoxville to get my ELD fixed. Um, and then from Knoxville, they want to send me down to Orlando, Florida. Which this was only... Was this Tuesday or Wednesday? Which means I wouldn't have got home over the weekend. So I just went in and I was like, basically, hey, Smalls, you're killing me here. I, I had plans. Well, you didn't let me know. I said, well, you didn't let me know you were supposed to send me to Florida. Well, I sent you an email. Well, you know, I sent you a message. That's cool. Send me a message, but follow it up. You know, did you get that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Because she calls me and asks me, and I think I'd said so where I was at, and I didn't realize it. You know, I grabbed the Indianapolis load like I was supposed to and went. I didn't know of anything different. Well, then they wanted me to, uh, they told me to go ahead and grab that load, take it down to Knoxville, and then go get my ELD fixed down there at the Ryder place, which they did fix it. And then she wants me to still take the Orlando over the weekend. I, I lucked out. Uh, one of the other guys was coming through Knoxville. Um, he lives, I think, in Arizona or something. He had sold his house. He's not in a big hurry to get home because he's going to have to deadhead or take a plane or his POV or however to get home to Arizona. Tucson. He's like, I'll run that Orlando load if you take the Cheswick. I'm like, okay. And uh, I'm not a fan of taking Cheswick, but actually it, it was fine. It, it worked out real good. Traffic was not too bad going into to Pittsburgh. I got to go. Uh, right through the gut of Pittsburgh and uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad considering Pittsburgh, but I had got into Pittsburgh at 7 7 10 And uh, I had called them and left a message the day before I would be there at 8 o'clock and when I pulled the brakes in their parking lot It was 8 o'clock um, It was only five stoats of glass on there one stoats only had two lights in it and I wasn't real happy because I'd asked the driver, is this all good, this all secured? And he's like, yeah, it's all good, it's all secured, it's all happy, you can roll with it. Well, when I get to Cheswick and open it up, he didn't put any stop blocks in. He put no stop blocks in, the glass, in front of the glass. No padding in front of the glass before the stop blocks. Um, and there was three sixteenths glass in there he didn't even pad, which is uh, four millimeter, I think. I don't know why it didn't break. I, I really don't know why it didn't break, but... Um, 
got it all there, got it delivered, and uh, got out of there and headed home. Had a good birthday party for, for mom. Um, that's kind of a wrap up of last week. I'm working on a new, working with a new app to do my videos with because I don't know why this one just refuses to accept um, accept these videos. I, I, I do not know. Some of them, like I said, I was filming and I stopped and I started filming again. It won't accept the second half. It won't accept some of the glass loads. And, and uh, you know, I had put the picture of Pickle up on there, my dog. It won't let me do that either now. So I don't have a clue what is going on with that app. I, I deleted it, re-added it, and it's still doing the same thing. So, that's where we're at. We're going to get, they won't unload me tonight. Um, they got an hour and 15 minutes. Anybody could get this glass off in an hour and 15 minutes, but they won't do it. So, um, I say leave at four. Maybe they leave at four, eight to four. That's probably their schedule. So that's why they only got 15 minutes to get it off. They're not going to mess with it. We'll get off. We'll head back to Decatur. Um, not a whole lot of sense me trying to get back here tomorrow early. Uh, because they're still not going to get me off until 8 o'clock. See, this is uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. Yeah, they're not going to get me off till 8 o'clock Thursday morning, I guess. And from there, I'll probably end up with a Knoxville load. So far, it's not on my list of things to do. Uh, big week last week. I think I had 27, almost 2,800 miles. Uh, even without running Orlando and all that. Orlando would have gave me over 3,000 miles on the week. It had been a very, very good week. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it would cost me some around uh, close to $1,000, I guess, by not running uh, over to Churchill, down to Orlando, back to Churchill, and home. But uh, you only get one mother, and she's well worth that. Uh, I could have used the coins, but the same token, it's all right. Well, I'm the little blue dot. That's what's coming. That's what I'm going to sit here through tonight. Um... I drove up, try to figure out where I'm at, over here in Memphis, right there, I drove up from down in here in that entire storm going north, and it's sweeping across, and now guess what, it finally caught up with me, and I'm going to get it again. Um, can't get me off loaded tonight. The loader's left at 2, and I got here at 2. So, it's all right. It's, I, I could have got home tonight. I'll get home tomorrow morning early. Um, but as you can see, it's it's looking pretty ugly here. But I'll still take you back and show you what I got on the trailer. I'm not going to, I can't open it up, let the sun light in. Uh, it's got some panels in the ceiling. It probably can, probably be able to see okay. Um, by the way, it is Thursday, November 11th, and had they emptied me out, I could have got home tonight, um, but they will empty me out at 6. Hopefully, I'll be home by noon tomorrow, but the run was basically from the house to Grenada, or I'm sorry, house to Decatur, to Grenada, back to Decatur, back to Grenada, and into Knoxville with a backhaul load, and then home uh, on the way home tomorrow I got to do a trailer swap with a somebody that lives in Indiana so what I'll probably end up doing is going up 75 taking a 74 loop around because he lives off the of 74 off of 74 275 loop around to 74 I guess I should say so that's gonna cost me another close to an hour but we'll still be home very fairly early I remember I told you you could go on the internet and look up sloth if you wanted to see the unloading process. Maverick's been in the bay for about an hour and 45 minutes. They've not pulled the first piece of glass. And the boss man, I asked him where the unloader guy is. He said, I don't know. I'll go find him. I'm like, give me a freaking break, dude. Because uh, all I've got left is this. Uh... When my uh, 
work day meets my rest or my uh, driving day which is about hour and which is about 45 minutes they're gonna start clicking down together if nothing else if I can get unloaded tonight uh, I can leave out of here really really early um, I went off at 208 I could leave at midnight it is about eight hours down there yeah about eight hours over to knoxville but if i left at midnight uh i could easily make it seven because i won't hit any traffic through all the major cities i got to get to to get there so uh yeah these guys got to get on with it because um i could probably just make it home from knoxville i'll have to look and see for sure either way i'm only going to be an hour or so out friday i should make it home really really early but it all depends on sloth man not sure if you can see that 841 i was going to show you the unloading but i'm going to save you all the pain and you can do it in your own time uh, just go to youtube and watch an hour of a three-toed sloth and you got it it kind of got dark on me uh i got a video on here real quick don't know what happened a really nice uh peterbilt long nose peterbilt off on the right hand side up a small embankment into the trees uh not sure how much you could tell but the trailer the tractor's actually twisted i thought it was really really i mean it's a bad accident but i thought it was worse than that and then i uh, you can see the driver standing in the video. I don't know what caused it. There was no other vehicles involved. Um, could have blew a steer tire out. <sighs> could not paying attention. Could have been on his phone. Uh, somebody could have cut him off. I don't. I got no more than what I got.